You may have seen various kits on Amazon that seem to have everything you need for needle felting. Well, some time ago, I bought one of those kits which included this multi-needle felting tool that holds eight needles. I thought I'd got a bargain, until one day I was stabbing away at some core wool with three needles in my needle felting tool when it started to feel really weird, almost like it wasn't really felting the wool properly. I was very confused. It looked okay, but felt really strange. It wasn't felting the wool how it normally does, but things were about to get even worse. First, let me explain how I came to buy this kit. I'd actually been searching on Amazon for a multi-needle felting tool and I noticed that this kit was around the same price as buying just a multi-needle felting tool on its own. So I figured it was better value to buy the kit and also get the other things that are in the kit which included lots of needles, finger guards, a small foam mat, a single needle tool holder, some clippers and an awl for making holes in the wool before you insert plastic eyes for example. You stabbed me with that all. I'm sorry, Sadness, but I had to do that so that your head could go onto the pipe cleaner and be attached to your body. You wanted a body, didn't you? Well, yes. And you didn't actually feel any pain, did you? Well, no, but I am still sad about it. You do surprise me, you being sad. What was that? Oh, nothing. Uh, anyway... Buying this multi-needle tool from this kit turned out to be a bit of a poor decision, as you'll see in a moment. So from the kit, I have used the mat, but it soon became very soft, and is now only useful when I'm felting bright white wool that I don't want discoloured from any wool from my wool mat. The awl and clippers are useful to have, and the finger guards are decent and made of quite thick leather. However, while I was filming this shot of me using the leather guards, I thought I'd test that they did protect you if you got stabbed. Which they did, but then this happened. <laughs> Ouch, I bet that hurt. Oh, thanks, Sadness. Yes, it did. Yes, somehow I managed to stab right down the seam of the guard and it went straight through to my poor thumb. What are the chances of that happening? So please be careful, even if you're using the finger guards. Please don't forget to click the like button if you're enjoying this content. By doing this, you'll help the needle felters find this video. The needles that came with the kit are, well... Okay, I guess. They do work, but the barbs on them are really small and they don't catch the wool much. So I think it takes a bit longer to felt the wool, but also they don't feel nice to use. In fact, if you're a beginner and have only used these needles, I'd really recommend you buy some decent needles from a reputable needle felting supplier. I think you'll find them much better and involve less stabbing. But for quite a long time, I was very happy with my multi-needle felting tool. I tended to use it with just three thicker 38 gauge triangular needles in it. As most of the times the items I needle felt are quite small so on that fateful day I had loaded it up with three of my decent needles and was felting some coarse carded wool into an over ball shape when it started to feel very odd. I couldn't put my finger on why it felt so different though. I stopped to inspect it but couldn't see anything wrong so I carried on until this happened. One of the needles came flying out and the handle was no longer attached to the section that holds the needles. At first I thought the handle had just come unscrewed while I was using it, but quickly realised that the metal part that received the handle had come out of the part that holds the needle. I tried pushing it back in and tried to carry on, but after not much stabbing it just came out again. So that was the end of the wooden multi-needle felting tool. Since then, after watching a really good review video by Felts by Philippa on multi-needle tools, I bought a clover pen style needle felting tool which can hold three needles. And so far it's been brilliant. It's much easier to felt small items with this pink clover tool as the needles are close together. Also, if you look inside, there's a metal plate that pushes against the top of the needles and holds them in place, which should be hard wearing. And because of the way it's been designed, it's not possible for it to break in the same way as my other one did. Overall, I think the clover tool is great and worth the slightly higher price. But once you have all the right tools, you'll need to make sure you're not making lots of mistakes that beginners to needle felting often make. And in this video, I'll show you seven of the most common mistakes and how you can avoid them, taking your needle felting to the next level. So you might want to watch that next. Thanks for watching.